Welcome back to the channel, Take the Bull. Hope you are all doing good. So, I think we have uh, seen enough of business information about various concepts in this channel. And today we are going to see about an uh, interesting business, perhaps a uh, food business uh, that, that, that's been into practice for several, uh, uh, I would say, several years and decades in, into our food system. And though that comes from the Western system of uh, food habits, we have been using this food and this as a staple altogether in most of the regions. And, and you know, these days people have started getting to an advanced level of uh, nutrition added to these foodstuffs. It's nothing but the bread. The in specific to bread, right now I'm going to talk about the nutrients filled wheat flour bread. bread. Like it's, it's it's a wheat flour bread and wheat bread, which you can uh, get, uh, which you can get uh, readily available from various supermarkets, shops, and staple stores where uh, you'll have this uh, regular breads made out of multi-purpose flour. And this is something uh, wheat based and which which is perhaps an healthy alternative uh, and and ha has already reached its high during the recent decades. And for this business, you may have to invest on certain producers, certain products. And if you properly do that, if you do them with uh, seriousness and a proper marketing strategy, you'll be able to make somewhere like 90,000 rupees profit a month. It's it's nothing, nothing like a lesser money. You'll, you, you'll bag about 90,000 rupees as a profit alone. So for this making, you have to just go... Uh, use like somewhere like 250 grams of wheat flour and two spoons of active dry yeast which is really available in the markets and a little bit of water salt and sugar along with the oil approximately 30 grams so that should be a cooking oil uh, some flour oil should do good don't go with any other alternatives that uh, which is uh, not a healthy advisory but still it, it's up to the flavor making co co composition you can change the ingredients according to your customer's preference and you can prepare them and try to market to the uh, prime location markets where you'll have a lot of floating populations because this is something though being treated as a staple people would consistently buy for uh, alternatives for the regular multi-purpose flour uh, breads this is uh, an alternative which which is nutrient filled so you have to look for people who who are densely moving towards the shops and people who, the shops where more number of peoples are filled with and more flowing population goes on it should be a medical shop or supermarket private hospitals you can even approach them for the uh, concession prized orders where you can give bulk quantities with a concession or a free compliments along with certain packages you can even work on different tactics like how you can impress your uh, distributor or your uh, uh, reseller in order to have a regular contractual orders uh, being received from them uh, at a proper intervals without any hiccups so you have to create a brand awareness that should be uh, literally like creating the uh, loyalty of your branding because any brand would ultimately sustain the industry uh, only only if it has a proper loyalty from its customer and this being a food product it's absolute that you have to gain that market potential and the branding ability of your like brand image of your product and this product can be manufactured using manual to semi-automatic and fully automatic machines where that is going to that will cost you somewhere like 15 uh, like 15,000 to 100,000 that depends on uh, the mechanism that depends on the facilities and advancement you are looking for in your mission so if it is all like manual and uh, handmade kind of thing you just bake them and supply them that's going to cost you least somewhere like 15,000 and slowly gradually based on the advancements and technological improvements you're looking for that's going to go up until uh, 100,000 rupees for you and the profit calculation for this business is somewhere like uh, each 
packet or give you a certain margin of approximately 14 rupees as profit so let's let's break down how how this profit is being made for per packet you can cost them somewhere like 35 rupees which is uh, 500 gram 35 rupees for 500 gram is something uh, as competitive with the market price and the existing uh, uh, other brands compa compared to our existing other brands it's quite competitive price and if you are able to break through that uh, the flavor and if you can set up certain benchmark with your products you'll definitely be able to crack the market uh, and you'll be break, able to break the legs and you know uh, the 300 packets you have to concentrate per day uh, approximately that's the least calculation which i've done you can even go up to an extent where you have a lot of orders in a specific day it's all like how much potential you have how much uh, marketing ability and how much supplying ability you are adding up and simultaneously uh, proportionate to the supplying ability you have to have the manufacturing facility as well and based on that facility you have to utilize the resources in order to get such uh, production capacity you know so that you will be able to supply them based like for the orders whichever you have across the cities can be interstates interstates and you can even go beyond the supplying throughout the nations with certain collaborations in the manufacturing which uh, the major uh, joints and mnc's and the huge produ production uh, production organizations just as of now so this this like you have to concentrate for 300 packets minimum a day and for 300 packets you're going to bank somewhere like 10500 rupees so which is like 35 rupees per packet and it's 10500 rupees if you're going to crack the business like you're going to supply them regularly for at least 25 days that's going to be 265 so that's going to be 265.500 so which in turns like 262500 in gen rupees so per month so the profit margin would be somewhere like you are making cost would be approximately calculated for 15 rupees and for the distributor you are going to give some profit of 3 rupees each packet and for the shopkeepers the resellers you are going to give them again 3 rupees that's going to cost you somewhere like 21 rupees out of this 35 rupees selling price and that's going to be like 14 rupees margin for you which in turn you can even say that you are going to sell it to the uh, distributor at a cost of uh, 15 plus 3 18 rupees and distributor is going to supply that for Uh, so, so, for the, I mean, the, you're going to cost it somewhere uh, with that three rupees margin for the distributor, and then the other three rupees margin, the reseller is going to have it uh, for his reselling uh, like installations and uh, his place. And this this is the minimum calculation, and that depends on your uh, ability and supply potentials. And if you're going to make that fourteen rupees margin for three hundred packets, that's going to cost you like four thousand two hundred rupees a day. And that's going to be for twenty five days. Again, that's going to give you somewhere like one hundred and five thousand, which is nothing but one lakh five thousand rupees. So again, uh, you have to look for the transportation and the promotions. and promotions as in the branding image social media distributions banners placards and then standees all of those kind of pamphlets handouts everything the offers and you may have to give some extra offers for the distributors and all those things can be calculated within 15000 rupees and that's going to give you a uh, overall revenue like a profit of 9000 rupees after all your expenses so I hope I've covered enough of information about this business for you people, and this is something like a healthy alternative which people are looking for right now in the industry. Uh, you know, most of the supermarkets would uh, go go empty as soon as the uh, bread packets are filled in. People would look for le fresh produce, like fr fresh products daily. So they want that to be uh, refreshed with the product which which has the flavor and an essence of the nutrients. So if you can break that benchmark, if you can set a benchmark where people look for the quality and simultaneously the quantity along with the branding ability, you'll be able to crack the market, and that's how. So you can break this business. I believe. uh you've got enough information about this business if at all you got anything just let me know in the comment section i'll be pleased to assist you on that so if you like this video give me a thumbs up please share it with your friends that let them get benefited about the business knowledge so subscribe to my channel if you are a new uh, viewer and we'll see you soon thank you bye bye